Peggy 16. Quantic Dream has always been about creating interactive experiences that have emotion at their core. It's about telling the story of characters and giving the player the possibility through their actions to change the way the story unfolds. When I write my script, I have an idea of how I want the story to be played. So we try to render David's idea into a game and see with him if it matches what he had in mind. In case it doesn't, we go back to the writing stage and keep working until the result perfectly matches David's vision. What we try to do in Beyond is really an intuitive and immersive experience. So we created a very discreet user interface with only white dots on screen and very simple controls. We wanted to revisit the action system and go for something that would be more invisible and more intuitive to the player. We didn't want the interface to be a barrier. We wanted the player to focus on what he's doing on screen and not on how to do it. Ideally, the player will forget that he has a controller in his hand and will just jump into the screen. One of the major revolutions in Beyond is the way Johnny Holmes moves. Depending on the context, depending on your emotional state, you see the character of Jody moving differently, walking differently, looking around differently. And most importantly, to give the player the feeling he's really in control of the character, he can do almost anything he wants to do. She can talk to other people, interact with objects, and also run, jump, shoot, drive a motorcycle, or even ride a horse. What was really challenging also is that the story goes on for 15 years of Jodie's life. When Jodie's a kid, for instance, you can do different things than when she is a teenager or an adult. Giving this much animation to a character, it's really new. It has never been done to that extent, and it really makes the character come alive like never before. We wanted to have these new mechanics with Aiden. I wanted to give this feeling of flying around and going through matter and through walls. So we started making some research on how a ghost would move or even a fish would swim underwater. We thought that using orbs is an interesting approach. It would give us this physicality that we need to interact with matter. It became really something natural to assign them to the two analog sticks and have to play with them to focus them or on the opposite to split them apart. During the process of this production, we made what we call user tests. You just watch people playing and you see where they succeed, where they fail. If a player don't get it right, it's only our fault. So we work very hard to be able to correct it and give the best experience possible. After each user test, it's meeting after meeting just to find a good solution to every single issue the player may have had. I guess what we're looking for with the gameplay is really to find an interface that will allow you to play live and we try to, to get closer and closer of the ideal interface where you don't think anymore, you just do it. <laughs>